Hello and welcome to my first episode of my Leicester career. I haven't done a Leicester career in a lot of years now. Did one in FIFA 16 and 17. So it's a massive rebuild time. I'm basically just going to put the whole of the transfer window in um, fast motion. Uh, so I'm originally from Leicester. I'm a fan of Leicester. Uh, also, I, I don't live there anymore, but I've been quite attached to the club for a lot of years now. So I'm originally from. And even though it's been dreamland for a lot of the last few years, it's now turned into a bit of disaster, which I've been seeing coming for ages. I mean, I could... Because speak about it now, we could go and watch my football podcast on this channel where I speak about it all there. Anyway, the first thing I did was obviously transfer uh, Danny Ward. Uh, we've got 70 million to spend, and I do want to keep it semi realistic because it's never going to be amazingly realistic. It's FIFA, um, but I am going to get rid of the players who want to leave. So I did transfer Sainchu because he's going. I did transfer this Tielemans because he will be going. Um, so yeah, and then I transfer this to all the players I didn't want to. Start, you know, I've got two or three players who are in the core. I want to keep around, so I want to build a team around. around. Keep Vardy here, or um, Madison, Barnes, Dewsbury, old, um, Indeedy. I still want to keep. Uh, I've got a couple of the defenders, full backs is fine. Obviously, Pierre is Ricardo Pierre is injured, but uh, we've got him here, that's all fine. So, yeah, just showing all the new stuff in terms of career mode goes. It's just they've just rebranded and made the menu as you can see more confusing for me. I'm just kind of like finding, you have to click a few more times. It's like going from Windows 10 to Windows 11. You're just clicking things a couple more times. Um, I put a range of sort of players. Basically, I'm basically going, I just want to rebuild a team. Obviously, I know this, Aaron Hickey's not going to be able to until next season. Just finding targets who I, I know for a few years now are sort of potential players. I just want, I just want to put excitement young players. Obviously, the FIFA market's very different to real life. Um it's not, you know, you can get more for, like, your money, basically. But these are sort of players I want to be the club to be looking at as we completely rebuild and then push them towards Europe. Um, who are, the, the window I thought we'd have, actually, when we sold for Fano, the, the window we were kind of promised, but because of FFP. But I'm um, kind of this, again, like Mark Getty, I think you could pick up for, like, 20 million. That's probably going to be 50, 60 with inflation. Of um, Palace want to keep it. Um... But yeah, so again, the, a lot of these are long shots, but these are sort of players I want to be looking at the club, um, sort of bring into the club and sort of building around. I'll be playing a 4-3-3 over kind of like a DM. That's kind of done. I haven't played FIFA much for a couple of years. So I'm going to start world class and then go upwards. If not, Conor Guy goes there if I get a big money in for Tielemans, uh to sell him, which I hopefully will. And then, yeah, these are all just the dream players that I thought Les would be, would be looking at. And I don't know what they're doing in January in real life. But um, the main thing is fixing the goalkeeper situation, getting that sort of centre-back um, area finished. And then because I like to build a team from the back to the front. And then the wingers, are the, the goalkeeper and the wingers are the biggest crucial part. But just get that defensive sorted and there's a few like pacey players. So it's between uh, David Raya or um, Robert Sanchez I went for. I was from David Sanchez for some reason. I don't know why. But I, I signed in basically. Um, obviously, he will cost like 60 million, I reckon, 50, 60 million. But I got him on the cheap because it's FIFA. And that's all part of the game. So, yeah, he's my keeper. He'll be here for a long time. And then he uh, shook hands with Vardy and then he ran a bit very fast. That, that is a fast motion. He's not actually that fast. So, it's 15 million plus Danny Ward. So, done all right there, aren't I? So, that's the first sign in. Fring Pong there if I get a big offer for my right backs. Um, I did look at this guy just because I'm doing this more from an FM perspective. I've got too many fullbacks, but I might loan one out. I might loan him out. Um, I've got enough right backs. There's more left foot players I want inside. So I've got a right foot one to make sense. But he's one for the future. Um, again, if I get a big transfer offer, I'll edge him into the team. Uh, so he will be signing number two. Um, and then so that that was that one. I, I get the negotiation things basically. If you don't sit there and negotiate, it's like an F. And I brought the the vibes that I can't pronounce names. They want this. Um, I think I went for. Did I get something in that deal? I can't remember. Was it Vestergaard? Um, but yeah, basically put a swap deal in. And yes, yeah, aren't you nine million? That's a bargain, of course. Uh, get here again. I know it costs a lot, but I wanted him. I want a bit of a homegrown one because it's very easy to sort of avoid the homegrown market. I like having a bit of a core. So you kind of have players that you sort of recognise more and kind of, you know, anything, you know, kind of having the, a mix. It's nice to have a mix um, in, in the team. So, yeah, it's it's nice to have Mark. Yeah, he's a very, he, I think I really rate him as a defender. Um, this guy, do you know what? I've literally never heard of him. I just realised he's one of the kids. So everyone, for me, coming in the last few years, I called him Regens because I'm just like, well, where do you come from? But this guy would be around in and around the team. 
Um, they probably be on quite a lot of career modes lists because they're boring and basic like me. I've just gone back to that boring and basic thing, but I just don't know it enough. So this guy I looked at, I went in for this guy because I need a winger. We've looked at him. I think Leicester wanted him, but it's not happening, let's be honest. He'll go to a better team. I think a lot of these players now at Leicester bottom of the league, but it's just different, you know, they're trying to rebuild getting them into Europe. Uh, I tried to do a swap deal, but it didn't happen, and Perez ended up going on his own terms anyway. Literally everyone I tried to get rid of went. Plus a few more, actually, which I'd never actually originally planned. Uh, but that's another great signing in. About 70 million, and we sold all Brighton and players like that. Um, I got this guy in just because young talent. Bargain, hopefully, a grow. It's just a typical Cremo signing, really, isn't it? Um, I've got a lot of wingers now, which I've got depth. Also, I don't have Europe, so I won't be rotating as much. But that's just a bargain, I think. Um, an F, apparently. Yeah, cool. Brilliant. Thanks for that game. Uh, and then, yeah, I just reject offers for like Barnes and Indeedy. Um, Teen ones came in, that's a ridiculous offer. I only got like just yeah, 45 million. Obviously, got one year left, so I was going to take that. I hate the scene when they get walked, that's awful. They put that in, it looks sad. Um, it was like escorted out the building. Uh, so yeah, Perez had gone, just never really worked out, really did it. Teen ones went, uh, there was a lot of money back in. I then went, the one man I wanted to get him is Conor Gallagher. Uh, I think I got like 20 or 30 million. Um, here's me saving. If you haven't seen the save feature before, I left that in for you. Uh, um, and then yeah and then there's my guy in this nice little sweater thing and trousers because I couldn't be bothered with this. I picked like one of the generic people and changed his face of it uh, changed his hair so yeah so Conor Gallic came in one thing is mental he has not got a face scan unbelievable which I found out in the game but he came in Negoti negotiations are easy in this game it's quick and easy in it is what it is I prefer it where it's more drawn out like realistic and it's like FM and like Krim I used to be but yeah, Conor Gallagher's in for Tielemans, and I think the rebuild's coming on really nicely. Now that's basically the rebuild. Bad, bad negotiation, apparently. But, yeah, whatever. Whatever you say. And the first month of you've come all the way, I, d I didn't get anyone. I've gone all homegrown just to begin with, and I started going to other countries. I like to have a range come for the academy as well. Uh, I sold Pierre to Liverpool. I, I think this guy's unbelievable. I think it was a time before his injury when he was up there with the best right back in the league. But um, there's enough came in. I thought, you know what, he's going to be injured anyway if it was real life. So I replaced him Fring Pong for less money, and he probably will grow to this in the rate anyway. He's already 80 overall. Um, I think that's a good deal, personally, if you put them to. I did go for Evan and Dicker, but it was just one too many. And I'm a bit like, well, I want to give Woot Fez a go and all those sort of players. Anyway, so I kind of went in a bit half hearted, as you can see. I'm thinking about it in the menu right now. This is me thinking in fast motion. Uh, but I did end up going in for him. Uh, but I got Jeremy uh, Do Do Doku, Dogu instead, um, and they wanted to swap but uh, for Ian Nacho, but I rejected it. So I want to keep the strikers the same because I, I like the three of them. And we'll see if Dak and Ian Nacho can be the answer to Vardy um, in game. Um, I did look at that Leon since back, it was very good, and maybe it was more sensible. But I just thought, oh, another 81 if I can get a good deal, a good swap deal, but it didn't quite work. Um, and they just wanted the winger I just signed. So. There was no point in that. But yeah, uh, Harvey Barnes had a bid from Bill Barrow. Can't buy players anyway. In DD, there was a 50 million. I've taken that 70 or 80 because I feel like he's kind of at his peak thing. But they said 50 and 10%. So this is a team that went into the first game. Um, and yeah, but yeah, I think it's pretty decent. It's got depth. Dennis Pratt actually did have an offer come in later on. I sold him for 16 million. I rate him in real life. But yeah. I, and then I recalled Hamza Chowdhury. So well done, mate. That's my, that's my depth for DM. A bit of sentiment, mid, so uh, wonder. I don't know if you get injuries like you used to, but like you barely get any injuries on FIFA anyway. So, yeah, this team depending on how it goes should be all right, really, shouldn't it? Um, I depend on how well I play. Top seven, I'd say. I don't actually know what my aim was, I skipped it at the start, but I got that youth guy in on by default at 69 rated. So, I will start the game. I think our first few games are like Newcastle. At home, Everton away, Arsenal at home, Fulham away. And you'll see all four of those games in the next episode. So thanks very much for watching. It's good to be doing Korean Mode again. It's been a while. Please like and subscribe because it really helps my, my general self-esteem, really.